What's going on, you guys? Keep me on the camera here. And I shaved. And I nicked myself a couple of times because I'm an idiot. But anyway, I just wanted to tell a story about the time I went to a WWE pay-per-view. It was December 3rd, 2006. And it was ECW December to Dismember. And just getting it out of the way early... It was a horrible, horrible pay-per-view. It was just unwatchably bad. And so, the story is about the trip there and the trip on the way back to December to Dismember. So, I had three tickets. So, I called my friend Justin up and I go, you know, yo, Justin, I got three tickets to the ECW pay-per-view tomorrow night in Georgia. You know, do you want to go? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. That's it. Fuck yeah. Okay, okay, show. Sure. Yeah. I'm like, yo, yeah, so I got three tickets, just show up tomorrow. So tomorrow comes, I get a knock on the door, open it up, and there's Justin. He's got the car out in front of the, the driveway. I'm like, all right, see you, Pop. Going to the ECW pay-per-view. I get to the car, and it's filled with people. There's three people in the back seat, a person driving, and Justin for the front seat. And I said, yo, Justin, I've got three tickets. There's three people in the back seat alone. You know, what about the other three? What are they going to do? You know, I don't have tickets for them. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Dude. No, no, don't worry about it. They'll get in some way. So I go, okay, dude, but, you know, I've only got three tickets. Now, first of all, you could not have seen a more odd man out kind of story. You got a car full of punks. You know, punk rockers. You got this one guy with a mohawk. It's, you know, up to here. And so when he's driving down the street, he's driving like this. Just so his mohawk doesn't touch the roof. You got the other guy in the back seat with his leather jacket and like a mullet. And there's another guy who's very forgettable. And you have Justin and the other chick. And here I am with a sideways hat, freaking hoodie, baggy jeans, and these white Nikes. And... <laughs> They could not have been more surprised. Who the fuck is he? Now, naturally, I got shoved in the back seat. So, on the way to Columbia, which is where we stopped at first, here I am. Ugh. Shit. Well, I got the guy next to me tilting his head going down the street, and you got the other guy next to me sprawled out in the seat. Yeah, I got all this room, and I didn't have anywhere to sit. And we're listening to music, it's going fine. Then the car stops in Columbia. Yo, we're gonna have to spare change it. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> You'll see, get out there and ask for change. So all of them get out of the car and they start going up to strangers in this parking lot at a gas station. Yo, you, you, you got 50 cents to spare? Yo, you got a dollar? Nobody had any money. Eventually, I took the money out of my own pocket and gave it to them for gas because <laughs> We got to get there. I just naturally assumed because I'm giving you, you know, a f two free $50 tickets that, you know, gas is on you. But it wasn't. I paid for the gas. We get to Georgia. We get to Georgia and it's like a big relief because every muscle in my body was aching. I was like, oh, thank God we're getting out of here. We get out. And the first thing that happens is the WWE.com people come out. Hey, who wants to talk to WWE.com about the Elimination Chamber match? Which, if you're not familiar with wrestling, the Elimination Chamber is this structure where people come in random. It, so Google the Elimination Chamber. It's harder to explain than you would think. So they came up to us, and I was one of the ones selected. So I'm on WWE.com regarding the Extreme Elimination Chamber. So if you want to see what I had to say, click below. Also, you can see one of the guys that was in the car with me. His name was Ryan Simmons. He's on the link, he's on the link also. So that's one of the other guys that was in the car with us. So we're waiting for the wrestlers to come up, and here comes Elijah Burke. And, oh, it's so exciting to meet Elijah. Of course, my dumbass, the first thing that I say when Elijah Burke comes up is, we want Ron the Truth killings. And he looks directly at me, looks me up and down, and he goes, who the fuck are you? Andy Milanakis. Everyone started laughing at me. I was like, oh, I was embarrassed. The people that drove with me were like, yeah, Andy Milanakis. I was called Andy Milanakis for the rest of the car ride, you know, while we're waiting to go inside. It was ridiculous. Thank you, 
Elijah Burke, wherever you are, because I don't think you wrestle anymore. On the way in the building, we're finally about to go inside, and we see the crying wrestling fan. Dave Williams, I think his name is. I can't remember his name. But there he is. The, if you don't remember the crying wrestling fan, he's the guy. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> I don't want to see it. That guy. Met him. Took my picture with the motherfucker. So it's come time to go inside. And I'm like, Justin, I don't know how these guys are going to get in, dude. I only got three tickets. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Like, I'm kind of worried about them because, you know, I don't know what's going to happen here. Lo and behold, I guess the tickets were so much available that, you know, they, they didn't sell any that they just said, oh yeah, here you go, here's some free tickets. They just walked in. Their seats were better than mine. So we go in and we watch one of the worst pay-per-views of all time. ECW December to Dismember, December 3rd, 2006 will go down as one of the worst pay-per-views in existence. And <laughs> unbearable. It was unbearable. So the show ends, it's time to leave, and we all meet up together and right in front of the James Brown Arena. And there was a bunch more other like punks that I guess they all knew each other and they were all just sitting there talking for about 15, 20 minutes. Then all of a sudden these three rednecks come up and they're like, hey motherfucker, who wants to fight? Oh shit. Next thing I know, push comes to shove and all of the punk rockers are fighting these three rednecks. There was about 10 or 11 of these punk rockers and these rednecks just fucking plow through them. It was only three of them and they're just knocking motherfuckers out cold. Now, I know it was my people that I came with, but they ain't my motherfucking friends. This ain't my battle. I backed up. I was like, I didn't look like I belonged with him anyway. So I was going, oh shit. Oh, Andy will knock us, huh? Oh shit, how's your eye? So they got their asses beat. Oddly enough, the video of that happening is on YouTube, so you can check it out. You can check it out right here. This little thing right here. Click that and go check out the fucking <laughs> the little fight. So anyway, it was a horrible pay-per-view. It was a horrible trip, but it's a lot of fun talking about it. <laughs> on a side note, if any of my wrestling fans or just anybody watching this lives in the Colorado area, Go check out Asylum Championship Wrestling, June 22nd. It's in Colorado. It's going to have gold dust. <sighs> gold dust. It's going to have him. Got one of my friends. He's going to be involved in the show. So if you live in the Colorado area, check it out. It's going to have a dog collar match. It's going to have a hardcore match. If I was in the area, you know, if I lived close to you guys, I would go see it. But I'm not going to be... But if you guys are in the area, go check out Asylum Championship Wrestling, June 22nd. You can check the link. You can check on the links below so you can see about Asylum Championship Wrestling. Check on the links below so you can see the WWE.com article where I'm talking about CM Punk and all that kind of shit. And check on the link below so you can see the fight in the fucking parking lot of the James Brown Arena. So anyway, that's it. Like, subscribe, favorite. Check out Asylum Championship Wrestling. At least check the link out below. See what you think about it. And that's it.